All right, so wheel hubs are uh, a big hurdle for a lot of new teams to be able to make, and what they are is something that allows you to attach the shaft of the motor to a wheel. And so this is about the simplest one that you can make, and it's just a square piece of aluminum that's half inch thick by one and a half by one and a half, and it has uh, just four holes for uh, so uh, number eight bolts can slide through. It has a quarter inch hole in the middle for the shaft. Um, a big hole up here for a nut to fit in. And then there's the side hole that allows a bolt to go through, go through the nut. And then when you tighten it down and it presses against the nut, it'll allow you to press against the shaft and be able to get a good solid grip on the shaft. And so if everything goes right, you should be able to slip it on the shaft like so and be able to tighten this down and you should get where this this will be locked onto the shaft. So I'm going to take you through making one of these. Um, so I already have the drill bit set out for uh, one that's big enough for the number eight machine screws to go through and here's one that's big enough for the nut to fit in and I'll have to go get another one for the shaft. Um, so, to be safe, I'm going to take my big block of aluminum to begin with and I'm going to draw out my hole pattern and drill my holes um, with everything as one piece and then I'm going to cut out just the little square I need after the fact. And you can cut it out with a hacksaw, but I'm going to cut it out with a bandsaw to make it go a little bit quicker. So, I have a one and a half inch by one and a half inch square, so I'll make sure I get that drawn on there first. every one and a half inch and not allow for the blade width and it doesn't really matter if the edge of this, this uh, block isn't quite, isn't quite right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mark my pattern. I'm going to have a, an inch by inch hole pattern for these, these four outside ones and I'm going to have a, I need to mark the hole right in the middle also. guys can see this. Uh, so I have, I'm going to cut out along those outside lines and I'm going to drill in each of these corner spots and once in the middle. I have to, I have to make sure I get the right bit that matches the um, shaft diameter and I'm actually going to go slightly bigger than that because I've had a problem with going the exact same size as the shaft. I will get too snug of a fit and it's okay if it's just a little loose. If it's like 1 64th of an inch uh, in diameter bigger, your bit, than the shaft, that'll be great because that'll only give you 1 128th allowance on each side. And then that big hole, I'm just, once I drill all the other five holes, I'm just kind of eyeball it and put it on um, where it has enough thickness between the shaft hole and the outside edge. And that's about it. Alright, so here I am at the drill press and you see my block with all my marks. I already have a uh, 3 16 inch bit in there, which is great for the, um, for the number 8 uh, machine screws to pass right through. So I'm just going to So as you can see, I didn't apparently tighten this enough, so I'll make sure I come back in here and tighten it a little bit more. And as you can see, I, I, I go down some and then I come up some so the shards can get loose. And if you just let the bit spin in the aluminum, you'll uh, melt the aluminum and it'll form around the bit. And I think I've already had a little bit of that happening already. So it's, it's pretty important that, uh, that you don't mess up your bit. And so you just go slow, take a little bit each time. As you can see, I've been holding this pretty solid, and it's a good thing that I have the big block because it, it almost got away from me there. I, if you have the ability to clamp down, then I would suggest that. I don't, um, this is pretty safe with this size, but if you had a really tiny block, um, 
there would be no way you could hold, hold it down by hand and you would need to clamp it down. And that hole I didn't do very good, but it's not going to matter because uh, whenever I get my wheel, I'll just match up the holes and drill them custom for just this motor mount. Um, you don't need to mount different wheels with one different motor mount, so you, in most cases, so this is going to be okay. Okay, so I got my four holes. I'm going to take this bit out and put the big bit on. Actually, I got a 1764 bit, which is 1 64th bigger than a, um, a quarter. So this is going to slide easily over my shaft, and I won't have to worry about that at all. Um, it will, whenever I tighten my shaft inside of it, it'll be slightly off off center, but nothing that you'd ever really notice with the uh, tolerances we're going to be building our robot to. Set. I got all my holes. Go in this direction. Well, I still have my big one. So. Let's take this out. I need a hole on this line that's halfway between the edge and the edge of this inside shaft hole. So line it up while it's off. Alright, so I really have I have the part in here now and I just have to go cut it out with a bandsaw. Alright, here it goes. I'm gonna try to cut this out on the bandsaw. Well we made that look too easy, right? If you did that with a hex, it would take a little bit longer, but definitely doable. And let's do the other side. And it's a little hot, um, not too bad. And uh, you could take this over to a sander if you wanted to, and and file off some of the sides. Um, other than that, all you have to do is get that tricky side hole. So what we're going to do next is we're going to screw this to a piece of war wood so we have something easy to hold onto. All right. So now we're going to have to screw this this onto a board just so we have something to hold because th it would be very dangerous to hold this and try to screw from the side here. So I just have some of the wood screws and after you get the first one make sure it's square with the side so you can be drilling straight down. And now we'll move over to the drill. So I have a 3 inch bit in here, and I have my block with my aluminum on it, and so I just have to just drill through the side now. And that's actually pretty easy, as long as you have it screwed down to a board. <laughs> if not, then it's dangerous, so... So it's, it's essentially done now. I can take it off the board. And I take this way because there's no tapping involved. It's all just regular drilling. Um, if you, There are other ways to make uh, wheel hubs with slits and making it clamp and doing this and that. But I, I found this is just the easiest way. Um, and we can slide this easily on the shaft. No sweat, but easily on the shaft. If we get a number eight bolt and a number eight nut, we should be able to put this together. So you have to put the nut on the inside. Sometimes this is tricky. But put the nut in the hole. And 
and get it threaded onto the bolt. And just tighten it, and that's it. Now you can put the shaft in there and then tighten this down, and the nut will stay in place because of the top of the hole. And there you got an awesome hub. Thanks.